Hey guys, this is Comic Announce, and I'm doing a review for All New X-Men, issue 28. And before I start talking about All New X-Men, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic Uno episode 52, and that's the show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And here are those exclusive comics. We have Real Heroes, issue 3, Robin Hood Legend, issue 4, Dexter's Lab, issue 3, She-Hulk, issue 5, Starlight, Issue 4, Captain Marvel, Issue 4, and Avengers Undercover, Issue 5. So if you want to go check out all those exclusive comics, go to Comic Uno Episode 52, which will be annotated. So be sure to check that out. Um, also, I do have my Arrow fan fiction script that I wrote a couple, maybe a month or two ago. Uh, so if you want to go check that out, that's on Frontline Fiction, and that's a sub site to Comic Frontline. Uh, dot com or blog spot so be sure to check out my story uh, tell me in the comments either on this video or on the comments of the article how you liked it if you liked it what do you what did you like about it um, yeah so go ahead comment about it uh, I definitely want to hear your, your feedback about it uh, so yeah thanks guys be sure to check that out it'll either be annotated or in the description but let's talk about all new X-Men issue 28 um, Cool cover. You know, I do like all new X-Men. I don't think it's been as strong as it was in the beginning, but it's still a good series and definitely the best X-Men series out there right now. Um, cool cover. It definitely is a good concept of what's going on of Xavier's son trying to control our fellow all new X-Men teammates. So, and then of course we have our Battle of the Atom future X-Men a little bit in this issue, but it's mostly um, Xavier's son and Mystique's son, so, which I think it's actually, they're both Mystique's son, um, but Wolverine and Mystique and Xavier Mystique's son, uh, so yeah, cool cover, I love, I love the art, I love the art for this series, I think something that really got me into this issue was, of course, the art, uh, I think it's perfect and I just loved it, uh, so yeah, let's talk about the story, though. So in this issue, we get to see that there's two stories going on, one in the future, which I think quite gex. I didn't know that the Battle of the Atom people went to the future, but they're in the future talking to Beast and saying, hey, we want to go back in time and destroy Jean Grey. That's pretty much the story with Beast. I didn't quite understand how they got to the future, but it's the X-Men and it's Age of Ultron, and it's time travel, so I'm sure it makes sense somehow. Uh, then we get to see what's going on in the present time is that Jean Grey is getting controlled by Xavier, like really getting all these psychic blasts to people. We hardly see any of the other X-Men because that's what's going on. And Xavier said, no one dedicates um, my father um, and you guys killed him so I want to destroy the X-Men. And we also get to see what happened in X-23. Is she alive? We'll find out in this issue. And how is she going to stop? Xavier's son if she is alive. So that's the whole issue. That's what's going on. Um, I thought it was a solid issue. Uh, I think for this week it was a solid issue because there's a lot of mixed bag issues this week. So if it was another week I think it would have been a little lower on my list but it was a solid issue and I think again the art really did that for me. Love the art for this series and it got me really into the story. I want to show a different page from that. Okay uh, but yeah it got me a lot into the story. I think um, um, Eminon's art is wonderful for this series. So the story is okay. Um, we're not seeing a lot of the X-Men, which is disappointing. It's mostly Beast, Jean, and a lot of Charles Xavier's son. Uh, and it felt fillerish to me. It, it felt like not a lot was going on. And again, it felt confusing. Why the hell is he with Beast uh, in the future? I don't know. I don't remember that happening. And then, she, yeah, it's cool to see that he's controlling Jean Grey's mind. I liked what he had to say about Charles Xavier. I think that was my favorite part because it makes sense that, you know, why do they call the school Jean Grey Institute? Like, why didn't they honor Charles Xavier? And they didn't really mourn him that much by the end. Um, they went over it because of all the other things going on. So I liked his reaction to that. That, and I think that really pushed the issue. But I could have used more of the X-Men. They were pretty much having a headache throughout the whole issue. You know, Jean had a little conversation with Jar uh, Charles Xavier's son. Um, but yeah, it was, it was okay. It was solid. I'm going to say it was a solid issue. For this week, it was a solid issue um, compared to books that came out uh, this week. So... Yeah, um, I think because of the art, I will give this four stars. It might deserve a little bit more of a 3.5, but I'll give it four stars. I thought it was a solid issue, but it's definitely not a perfect issue. Um, but there is some interesting 
talks with Charles Xavier's son, and he brings up a lot of good points. So, and I like the cliffhanger. I kind of like where it's going, but it is a point A to point B issue. So I'm going to give it four stars. Again, I think I'm being a little generous with that, though. Hope you guys you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Rant Situations, and don't forget to like my Facebook page, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.